Hello. What a beautiful sunset. So, something I forgot to mention last video was that there were some more hints as to Bert Holt and Reiner being in league with Annie. Uh, one of the big things was during the Trost siege, when everyone was like down in the dumps, Annie says to Reiner, should we move out? And Reiner says, no, we have to let everyone regroup. And then you have Marco say, oh, there's no point because he and possibly the audience thinks that he's talking about the other soldiers and not the Titans. Their it's plan was writing. to... Oh, um, here is Hanj being misgendered again. Yeah. I assume the translator thinks that the section commander was Erwin and not Hanj. But yeah, so the, their original plan was to continue the attack, but once they saw Aaron... Not not Erwin. Aaron, yeah. Aaron uh, transformed. That's when they stopped their attack. And that's why they're trying to capture Erwin this whole uh Aaron this whole time. Now before we uh, continue on, let's uh, burn some of those points. Some. I'm surprised you don't use them all. Uh, funnily enough, heading back to base, hey, hey, Demir is back. There's Reiner and Berthold in the background. Oh, time travel. Back to the point of no return, and then back to the back to the point of no return. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I did unlock some new policies. You unlock more when you befriend certain NPCs. And I decided to pick Regiment Holiday because, well, it is the season. It's wild that that's an option in this game. God, they get Did better holiday. They get better time off than I do. <laughs> Did selecting that change the background fog? Probably. Again, also, I have. Looks uh, like it became slightly colder colored. Hmm. Good point. What is funny is that there is like snow maps in this game, even though like in the main game and even in the main series, there's like no real snow. There is a section where they do some like climbing in the mountains in their snow, but other than that. Also, here's Daz acting like me at any holiday where I'm in the corner looking panicked. And uh, I believe this is the visual change, is that you'll find some scouts sitting on the ground. Or some soldiers sitting on the ground. And this guy that right here. Right th <laughs> same. Pathing. Daz will die of old age before this series ends. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, the he's a teenager and he looks like he's in his 40s. Yeah, Daz will die of old age before he gets to be as old as I am. <laughs> and yet, I look younger than him. But here we're having a flashback to the start of the game, but through what happened with Aaron and his mom, rather than what happened to us and our parents. Whereas our parents got crushed by a rock, Aaron's house got crushed by a rock, and then the rubble fell on his mom. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, Hannes is gonna cut down a titan. To be honest, if someone was smiling at me like that, I'd also be scared. I would shit directly into my pants. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Later.
Oh look, she's free. Wow. Out of the frying pan into the fire. And into the mouth. Dark. I don't know why there is something very yeah. funny about the way Mikasa was just dangling from his arm there. <laughs> yeah. Like a kitten being carried around. <laughs> he is resting deeply in the forest. Does that mean he is deep in rest or he is deep in the forest? Deep in rest, eh. deep in the forest. English, like all languages, is a demon thing. I'll say, I gotta see, and I speak English. Me fail English? That's impossible. Did you notice the texture pop in on that book? Or no, I didn't. That's hilarious. But not as hilarious as the Steam effects. These two really like, need you to take a shot. Some of those Steam effects have, like, specific boundaries that you can see if you look. Yeah, I was just about to say that. You can see the straight line. <laughs> where the effect starts. Yeah. Either that or they're smoking some, some dank-ass ganja. I'm surprised <laughs> there aren't JPEG artifacts coming off the smoke. <laughs> that smoke and, uh, is way too photorealistic for this cartoony game. Ymir has the, the same effect, even though her model is completely in one piece. She's supposed to be having a leg and an arm cut off. And Aaron has both of his arms cut off. I mean, he's read, um, he's read Hemingway, hasn't he? So, uh, farewell to arm here. This definitely isn't a second take or anything, but looking at this again, it really is confusing as it's presented in game as to what is going on here exactly. いい加減黙ってないで何とかしてやれよ。ライナー、君は兵士じゃないだろう。僕らは戦士なんだから。I feel like that was a distinction that makes more sense either in the original text or in the original language. So, pretty much back at Utgard Castle, Reiner does say, Oh, we're soldiers, you know, we're all a team. And now, when he's, his, when he's supposed to actually be an enemy agent, no, he's a warrior now. Well, they're clearly different jobs on the on the tree. Yeah, warriors a tank and soldiers a DPS. <laughs> Where's the healer though? Scout. Uh. Uh, yeah, the, the Titan characters get weird lines on their faces for some reason. Yeah, uh, I don't know what you call that, but that's not just mascara. Eyeliner. Eyeshadow. What is... Eyeliner. Uh, oh, hey, it's gone. It disappeared? Yeah. <laughs> That was quick. To be fair, he's had a uh, entire is, scene. What is sadly missing here, uh, for Aaron freaking out, is him trying to beat the shit out of Reiner with his arm stubs. And then Reiner puts him in a fucking chokehold. Okay, but really, how bad does your body odor have to be to make literal smoke appear? <laughs> According to The Sims, 24 hours of not bathing. Fair. According to Charles Schultz, isn't it like five minutes for Pigpen to go instantly dirty again? Boy, the sun's really bright today. 
<laughs> oh yeah, it's uh, supposed to be sunset at this point. Good job, Koei. Never change. So, Reiner mentioned something about Krista, and that's why he wants to capture her, but I think with Ymir, it's strictly infatuation. I don't think there's some deep thing behind it. Actually, I noticed earlier, and you'd probably have to go back and see, but it looked like Ymir's calves on her uh, city model are bigger than Eren's uh, military model calves <laughs> in the boots. Which makes me wonder, like, why is that not consistent between models? That's hilarious. I mean, but, uh, fucked up proportions is kind of a titan thing. That is true. Look at look at the guy in front of us. <laughs> I mean, I was making more point on the general state of the model. Now, um, so during that conversation, what is like not brought along well in this is that when 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 they like kind of discover that Reiner isn't all there in the head, that he has like a split personality. In the anime, what he does is that, like, right after his speech of, like, okay, we're gonna take you away, he then just kind of goes, like, man, that was pretty close how I almost died at the, uh, castle. Do you think we can get promotion for all we've done here today? And then that's when everyone's like, what, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? And he's like, why are you all so confused? I'm not wanting to be commander. And that's when Eren has his little, you know, shut the fuck up speech. And that's when they realize, oh, Reiner has, like, a split personality. Now, going on the topic of... Uh, sitting model and hips. While my computer is down for while rendering videos, I've been playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And there is a scene where a uh, character notices how that, like, Pyra and Rex will have wounds on the same parts of the body. And that's, like, not how blades work. Oh, hey, real quick. A proper scene to doing a parry. I have never had the scene happen, I don't think. Usually I just kill them normally after dodging. It's impressive. But, uh, yeah. So the uh, so so the guy looks down at Pyra and she's in a sitting position, but like they messed up her legs, so they're like holy clipping, so her thighs are like clipping through her hips, and the camera's pointing directly. You know, it's in full view. This is normal in the far future. The and, uh, skin hey, we is can clipping finally... through my brain. <laughs> <laughs> we can finally recruit you know named characters again. And it's so just funny that each time I approach one, yeah. each time I approach one, the previous one has a line asking if they're okay. And uh, just saying, it may be for the best to use your buddy actions ASAP. Wait, what was that? Mm -mm. that was me trying to use a buddy action, but it was on someone who was already had their ability because the it wasn't on screen, so I didn't know which button to push to activate John's ability. Ah. Same. <laughs> Such a gremlin noise. <laughs> oh man, I've seen this clip of uh, Red Letter Media upload a clip of some of their bloopers, and they had like this bit where they were having a, one of the original gremlin, like animatronics, sitting next to them with a hand on a beer, and Mike knocks the beer onto the animatronic. Oh, no. And they start freaking out because they're like, oh damn, we can't get this replaced. <laughs> Oh, 
Speaking, to see her too. Uh, speaking of gremlins. <laughs> yeah. Well, rip Krista. The thumbnail absolutely needs to be Krista's completely confused face right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, hey, Erwin has a beard. And has rendezvous with Linkle, but uh, where is he? Oh, there he is. But he's not, like, one of our party members. Erwin's too important to come with you. Yeah. Oh, look, our friends are gone. Oh, yeah. The, the, it yep, says the cadet yep, port yep. left, but for some reason it's also included Hanes. Well, also the other D rank. Oh no, uh, he stayed with us. The top one. No, no, no. there were two D rankers. I thought. Oh, maybe shit. Oh man, my favorite, the spider type. He's mad at you. Yeah. And it's such a shame that they don't let you keep the higher tier party members because at this point the D-Ranger is only doing like 2,000 damage. They're trying their best. Then again, I think I might be able to buff the damage if I had like my leadership leveled up, but you know how these games work. You always do, you either do more damage or you do the damage faster. You don't use any other stats. Don't you have some giant amount of boosting thingies? Whatever that funny currency is. The uh scout or freedom points or whatever they're called. Yeah. The scout emblem. Can't you use those to boost your leadership? Yeah, I don't think I've I've maxed out my leveling. I think I'm just waiting till I hit the max level. That way I can just burn all the points at once. Mm. I'm not spending points has been a consistent thing for these LPs. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's just kind of a weird thing in video games. There's something I... I think I was going to talk about last video, but ended up not doing it, but I do kind of appreciate how in this game, there are things that are just straight up, what the hell is this fucking thing doing? Boing, boing, boing. But there are things that are just straight upgrades. I kind of hate how games, a lot of games these days, they want to be like, oh no, it's a side grade. And it's like, man, I just want to progress. I just want something that's better than my old weapon. I don't want to have to do a bunch of math to see if this weapon doing attacks 0.3 seconds faster is worth losing 10 whole damage. Shame there's no way to upgrade the particle effects from your super form there. <laughs> well, if they did that, then they'd have to admit that the smoke particle effects that give everybody the stank lines perhaps <laughs> needed some improvement. <laughs> oh man, what game is it? Is it? Halo? Where like you could actually get a cosmetic to put stank lines on your character? Don't know. Oh look at all those times that suddenly appeared in the forest and Erwin's got a plan. I wonder what that is. Uh, we get to see a bit of Reiner's lovingly rendered, lovingly rendered ass. You know, it's funny because it was Reiner who was talking about how Annie in her time form had a nice ass. His golden glutes. Game recognized game. And unfortunately, we will never again hear Winkle saying Reiner, except in... <laughs> Another story mode. We still have our evil laugh, though. Mm -hmm. Yorechi. 
確かにみんな騙した謝る資格なんてあるわけないけど誰かお願いだ誰か僕らを見つけてくれベルトルトエレンを返してダメだできない<笑> For some reason, they completely cut out him, like telling them to kill him. But hey, no time for that. Erwin's plan was to lead a bunch of fucking titans straight to them. Erwin is not a smart man. <laughs> What's funny is this is the that... moment. Like, no, none of these are going to be individually decisive moments. That's not how war works. He's a tough man making tough decisions. God. What's actually hilarious, and it's completely cut out here. So, like, you know, there were. You, you do see, like, some of the NPCs are labeled as military police, and the pre mission scene uh, book being said that they brought the military police with him. Erwin basically sacrifices the military police to attract the Titans, and he runs off saying. You're all doing a good job for the cause, or something like that. Weren't the MPs specifically the people, the ones with the cushy jobs? Yeah, but since this was such a high-profile thing, they got MPs to help, like bolster the ranks. I love inter-office politics. Oh yeah, you would love season three, because that's pretty much what happens. Oh hey Erwin. Bye Erwin. And also uh, another scene that happens during this, which uh brings back like how forces are hardcore in this series, is uh during that bit, there's like two MPs, like, what the hell is Erwin, you know, Erwin doing? He's, you know, he's a psychopath. And then a Titan somehow manages to sneak up on them. And one MP is looking at the other, and, you know, he gets the shocked face. And the other guy's like, what are you, you know, why are you looking at that? And he looks up, and there's a Titan right above him. And then he just, the Titan just slowly leans his head forward and bites him. And then pulls him off the horse, who just calmly sits there and lets it happen. Tell me you've okay, never met that a is... horse without telling me you've never met a horse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're 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 hardcore in this series. They don't care if their riders getting eaten off their backs or charging right at a uh, at a big ass titan. Oh hey, you finally captured one. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just think I didn't want to. Spend time cutting off their arms and legs to capture the bigger ones. Because in this mission, so far, it's mostly been these big ones. But what about Little Miss Lesser of Two War Cry? <laughs> you know, you would think Ymir, with how small she is, you should be able to capture her real quick. She's a boss, though. Lot of immunity. She's got the heavy tag. <laughs> I get that reference. Oh, so my blades are broken. And I just want to show off actually using them offensively. And it can almost one shot a Titan. Because I'm pretty That's sure pretty it cool. counts as two attacks. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's like one. Go ahead. Even Erwin likes it. <laughs> it is nice because it lets you get like one last attack off. But yeah, so at this point I'm like, okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go on. Oh, Erwin gets. Oh God. God damn it, Erwin! If you just joined the party, we'd be able to provide each other mutual defense. Yeah. And it is weird because he does have the shield icon, like the you must protect this NPC. I don't know why it did that just now. Maybe there was a risk of the Titan falling on him and crushing him to death, even though it doesn't happen in this game. The camera has embraced chaos. 
Why is this also a stalker game? <laughs> but uh, yeah, some of the random scouts also have that shield icon. I don't know if that means you need to protect them too, or what the deal is. What a mysterious game. And now it's at this point where I start to realize, man, my horse is getting tired real quickly. And so I look the camera around and, hey, this isn't the horse I bought two videos ago. This is not my beautiful horse. This is not my beautiful house. <laughs> we didn't bring enough horsepower for this mission. <laughs> uh, let's stop horsing around here. Yeah, one more side mission we can Let's be on. good neighbors. God damn it. That's it, I'm getting out of this call. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey look, there's all of our uh, squad mates and Yumi are time to kick her ass. Now, she's way more mobile, as you would expect from something smaller, but I feel like fighting Annie was more annoying. And let's just kick her ass. Don't give her a chance to recover. That's the way you do it. I mean, Ymir here basically acts feral, whereas Annie was... what? Trained MMA fighter? Oh, yeah. That was also another, like, kind of subtle hint, I guess, was that Annie and Reiner knew how to, like, do hand-to-hand -hand combat, even though they were supposed to be fighting Titans, so there was no point in them learning how to do that. But if they were to fight humans, well, it's a lot more useful. True. <laughs> Look at that smile. I swear they like brighten up his eyes too, just so you can see it at that distance. Why is Reiner not shaking him off? Right? I mean, yeah, he's got his arms occupied, but he can still shake his head and neck. Now look at uh, the right side of Erwin here. Well, I couldn't see him there, but we'll see him here in a second. He is missing his right arm because this game completely cut out the scene where when he was bringing the Titans over, one of them got him by the arm and dragged him off. And as he's being dragged off by the Titan, he's still screaming, Just keep going, guys. Just keep charging ahead. Don't worry about me. Just keep coming back. And then he cuts his own fucking arm off and <laughs> comes back. Our one is hardcore. Oh man, look at that face. And just like most things in this game, once Erwin is no longer usable because he's missing an arm, we can unlock him in another mode. Huh. Now he finally joins the party. <laughs> now I'll go to check my equipment, and uh, not only do I have the first horse equipped, I don't even know what happened to my other horse. Disappeared to the horse dimension. Oh man, Did it take Later. your money? I think so. Ouch. There's still enough money. Bye.